Axel Tech, and today we're going to talk about um, CG man management in XPlayout. Well, as you know, I have my XPlayout here. I'm going to put some files on the playlist just to generate some background video. And I have a manual CG section here, which is interesting. I can select uh, a file, and I'm going to select that file here on the last button, which is the uh, the manual six button selected the file I'm gonna air it and of course I have a master CG on off here and as you see my CG is on air how did I create this CG well of course I used the CG composer it's a free application you can install it on any computer and what it allows you to do is a page uh, which can be aired on a specific layer and the page is made by multiple items and the interesting thing is if that page is actually on air, like now, if I move things around, for example, and I save, actually, it will be automatically updated on air. So it's almost like having a real CG, let's say, okay, a real-time CG. I'm not going to talk about how to use the CG Composer. It's kind of easy. You can hear animations, videos, audio, bitmaps, sequence of bitmaps, etc. And so what do I do have here are six independent layers uh, of, uh, of graphics. And I have also instant items. What are instant items? Well, it's fast graphics to put on there for some reason. Uh, you can define and edit your, set, uh, your templates uh, for your TV station and then specify which templates are going to be used for the instant items directly here in the settings. Uh, do remember that, for example, the text template, you need an object inside wh whose name is text1, and then for the crawl, it will be crawl1. Those will be used for dynamic data change in order for you to write exactly the text. And that text will be, uh, will, will be changed uh, using that specific object. And of course, I have the master on off. So let's go with this guy over here and show you this is the manual section. Uh, I have another manual section which regards the squeezebacks. Uh, squeezebacks are DVE effects in which the playlist is actually squeezed down in 2D and they have uh, extra background graphics. And as you see, I'm passing also Hello World and Hi There to Data 1 and Data 2, which are the names of the two text objects. And you see that in the lower left corner. Uh, squeezebacks and manual squeezeback and manual CGs can be aired both at the same time, as you see. Okay, that's interesting. And it's different from what we call automatic CG in secondary, event, in, in secondary events, which while I will explain now. So, I'm going to stop the playlist. I'm going to prepare and cue the first element here. Prepare, okay. I'm going to take the manual CG off, okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to enter the clip parameters. The first part, I have, the, let's say, general parameters. In the second page, I have my CG information. I can associate to specific events on the playlist uh, CG events. So I'm going to select no, page number, sorry, I'm going to go with the file. I'm going to select another CG, maybe a little more complicated, like uh, Live News, for example. And OK, when I press the OK button, I'll get a G in the parameter column. That means I have a, some secondary event defined here. In order to air it, I have to remember to turn on my automatic CG and squeeze back. Uh, management button and what happens is when I play it my graphics will go on air and when the system goes to the next event since it doesn't have that secondary event it'll go off air okay so what about the other ones well let's see exactly what we have the general CG will air that CG for the entire duration of the event and while the entrance CG I can specify something else Okay, let's go like this, and let's put some sports, for example. And here you can give timing information for, from the start of the file. So let's put 10 seconds here for another 10 seconds as far as the duration. And so when I, when I actually air that, okay, I'll get my 10 seconds of general CG, which was defined in the general section. 
and then after 10 seconds I'll get the entrance CG and I'll go on there now as you see when the entrance CG is finished the system will go back to the general CG again and we will see that now the same for exit CG uh, but the only difference is exit CG the uh, the timing start time information is from the end of the file okay so essentially we have five CG points system will start with the general if there's an entrance it will go to entrance and then it'll go to back to general and if there's an exit it'll go to exit and then go back to general if you need more than that what is usually done you use the extremer to segment your file into multiple segments and then just assign a general CG to each of the segments accordingly. One thing that I want to show you is the hide manual graphics. So if you do have some manual CG on air, I'm going to stop now, and, uh, I, I, and I tell the system to hide the manual graphics for the general CG, what the system will do is hide the manual graphics and there you have it okay and in the manual CG you'll get a note manual graphics was hidden by the auto CG and then of course when the entrance CG comes air the manual graphics will come back on air because it wasn't specified in the entrance CG section okay so that's uh that's some, sometimes used, I don't know, to take away the station logo. Usually the manual CG section is where you will put the station logo since it's always on air. But if you have to take it off air, maybe during commercials or something like this, on the commercial you just tell them to hide the manual graphics and I'll actually take out all the elements of the manual graphics. So this is how to manage, with very simple management with secondary events but it actually operates on a single layer. Oh, by the way, if you define and you put a, a uh, squeeze back instead of an overlay, it'll be on the same layer. So you cannot uh, put a secondary events uh, together, a squeeze back and an overlay file on the automation layer, uh, and only, only one at a time. I have, though, additional layers which we call extra layers and they are just like entrance layers and so I have 10 of these extra layers and they actually behave like the entrance CG so they have a start time and a duration but the difference is these are completely independent layers so I can put something on layer one the same th another thing on layer two with the same timing information and actually all these layers will go on there at the same time so they're independent layers since this manage management is kind of complicated you won't do it manually this is usually achieved when using third-party traffic system which actually manage all this all these commands automatically and just insert the secondary events up to 10 layers of secondary uh, CG events uh, per item okay there's another way of managing C graphics and I'll show you let me take some stuff off, okay, so like this, let me skip, okay, let's go here, and let's start over again, so make things a little clearer, what I'm going to do is actually do like this, and I have a simple playlist, no graphics to find anywhere, okay, so what I can do is actually insert C commands as primary events, and I'll explain that in a while, first, as you've seen, I put um, uh, pre-recorded material, video files on the playlist. I can also insert URLs, live events, and memo. What are memo? Memo is usually a remark, like, uh, you know, I don't know, live begins here. It's just to, to, to like, a yellow post-it, you know, to put insert in your playlist and kind of highlight certain points of your playlist and that's what it's usually used for okay but you can use memo as memo commands so and memo commands you can do a lot of things from gpis and start streaming stop streaming etc but also cg events so in this case what i'm going to do is take a page on air i won't use the automation because if my auto cg and squeeze back button are on 
simply the system will air that in CG, but then right after we'll take it off air if it's not defined in the event because the automation is for secondary events. But I can actually use one of the six manual layers, or I actually can use one of four user layers, which can only be controlled by memo commands. I'm going to use manual five. I'm going to tell the system to air a specific page, like this guy, which is music. Then I press the play button. There you have it. So it's a CG take pager on layer manual 06, blah, blah. Whenever, so I'm going to skip to Deadpool. And now the next event, real file event, is going to be Harry Potter 2, so it's going to pass through that memo. And when I put it on here, that's where you're going to get your, your page on here. So this is a CG on a specific, uh, on a primary event. And that CG will continue to stay on air. I'm skipping here, I'm skipping here, until somebody takes it off here. So what you can do is you can go in the manual CG and use the graphics on off button or simply re-click onto the manual five layer in order to reset it. You, um, you won't find any GUI response uh, on the manual CG sections. It's the command it is actually, uh, let's say, uh, sent directly to the CG engine, so usually what you do is you just at a certain point of your playlist when you want to take that uh, layer off air, you insert another one into your CG, you tell the system clear layer and it's going to be my manual 5 and that's your command. So now I'm going to go on there with Cowboy and Alien and, and, and when I pass the Deadpool, it'll actually execute the command and there you have your clear layer. Uh, creating a memo events in the playout it's, is not that convenient uh, because it takes time. So usually what we use is the uh, trimmer which is used to also define your secondary events directly into the clip. What's the difference? If you define, you use the playout and you define it here in the playout, that secondary event will only go on air. That's for that specific event on the playlist. But if you open a clip, let me show that to you. I'm going to open a clip and I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go into my HD stuff. And I'm going to get my HD mob and I'm going to get my Batman and Superman. What I can tell the system, apart from doing some mark in and mark out, and that's specifically what the uh, trimmer is made for, I can actually tell them uh, to define for this subclip a general clip. Let's put some graphics on there. And actually, the interesting thing is you'll actually get a preview of how that's going to go on there. And then I'm going to go into my second subclip. And this time, I'm going to put a squeeze back. Okay, so let's see that. Okay, so squeeze back, squeeze back, uh, breaking news. And then I'm going to also put some metadata there. Hello world. Okay, and there we have it. And then I'm going to save this information. Okay, so we're still talking about secondary events here. Okay, but with the trimmer. So now, whenever I actually use that, that Batman, this guy, as you see, the system actually inserted the two sub clips, and I have CG information which is the same cg which i put there one is this one okay and so that way every time i put that on here it'll actually go on out so here i have the cg of the first sub clip which is sub clip number one and now if i skip i'm gonna get that squeeze back events with the metadata okay and that's secondary events made with the trimmer uh, what else can you do with the trimmer? Well, you can actually create memo commands as primary events and save them as file. That's kind of interesting. So memo event, what I'm going to do is create a CG and I'm going to say take a page. I'm going to say on layer 5 and I'm going to actually choose the page, which is this one over here. And I'm going to go with stocks. Okay. But when I press the OK button, the system will actually ask me where I want to save that memo. So I have a memo folder. I'm going to say layer 5 stocks. 
So what happens is, is here on the playlist, what I can do, let me clear the playlist and put some stuff, okay? What I can do now is actually, at a certain point of my playlist, actually go and insert that specific memo command, memo command, which is layer five stocks, and I can use that whenever I want. And so actually let's go Madrax, and go skip, and that's when my layer is going to go on here. And of course I can create a layer five, uh, layer five clear layer, let's do that, memo, uh, CG, we'll go, yeah that's good, I'll go like this, clear layer, okay, layer five clear and then I would simply insert that at the point I want to take that graphics away. Layer five clear and when the system I will skip and then I will skip and now I'm going to skip and expect that the layer five will be cleared. And there you have it. Okay, thank you so much for watching.